much of these ancient writings were not the product of a group who were trying to manipulate humanity. I don't see it that way. Um, when I talk about artificial intelligence eggs, I'm serious. The entire history of the world, as we have received it in the dates, the sequences of events, in all these different calendars, it is way too mathematically perfect to be accurate. Artificial Intelligence X has handed us a tremendous kaleidoscopic series of multiple histories that we weed through. Because if there was only one history, we would have already had it. We would have never lost it. Somebody would have preserved it somewhere. Just like there's multiple timelines going into the future and the nexus for the here and now is the intersect between both infinities, so too is, are there multiple pathways into the past. This is the value of studying history. We find these. We find these edits. We find these resets. We find these cataclysm protocols. But we don't find true history. That's the misnomer. That's the misunderstanding most people have. You can't almost, I don't really know what was real and what wasn't real in ancient history. I have to study it, but I'm, I'm led to study. I have to, I'm compelled to, but in that compulsion, I have found many, many secrets. And it's more about this construct we call reality than it is actual history. So I don't believe it was a group of people trying to invent the Bible. The Bible. No, it's, there's a, there's more to it than that. I would not be surprised if us being in the simulacrum right here only began six, seven, eight hundred years ago, and everything before that is pure coding protocols, so enmeshed and so detail specific with actual edits in our holography for us to find archaeological things to comport with what we have we, we have historically, that all of this was just manufactured to deceive that we are actually thousands of years into this timeline. So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't be surprised at all. If, if I mean, I've said this before, if we can show that any one thing in the historical, historical world was actually coding and coded, then all of it's coded. There's not going to be just a piece. If, if, there, if, we can, if we can uncover any evidence of a single edit, a single reset, then it's all edited and reset and multiple times.